hello friends welcome back to my channel today i am going to share with you a basic uh, bear beanie for newborn uh, baby for this project i am using uh, oswal continental 100% acrylic yarn and i am using 3.5 mm crochet hook this pattern is for beginners you can use any type of yarn you have i am using this uh, lightweight yarn to start this project make a slip knot and make a chain of 4 2 3 4 and join with a slip stitch with the first stitch we have made and form a ring like that now we will work in this ring to start the first round make chain 1 and make 12 double crochet in that ring just like that to make a double crochet yarn over insert hook into the ring yarn over pull the loop three loops on your hook yarn over pull through the first two yarn over pull through the sec uh, last two rings this is the double crochet now we have two doubles we have to make more ten double crochet in that ring just keep repeating that eight times more and i will show you how to finish that round and Uh, begin the next round now we have 12 double crochets in the ring now we will finish our stitches and finish the round with a slip stitch to the first double crochet we have made just like that and pull that yarn to start the round 2 chain 1 and make two doubles in each and every stitches make two doubles in the very first stitch one and two another two in the next two two doubles in the next just like that and keep repeating this till the end of this round in the end of this round we have 24 stitches in total now we will 
make a slip stitch into the first stitch we have made and join our stitches like that. For the third round, chain 1, put 1 double crochet in the first stitch and put 2 double crochets in the second, 1 and 2. So, we have to keep repeating this pattern for this entire round, 1 double crochet and 2 doubles in the next, 1 and 2 in the next, 1 double crochet in the next round, uh, next stitch and 2 doubles both in the same loop in the next stitch. This way we can increase our stitches. 1 and 2 in the next. 1, 2. So, keep repeating this 1, 2, 1, 2 sequence till the end of this round. I have completed my third round and I have two stitches left. In the first, I will put one double crochet and in the second stitch, we have to put two doubles and now we have to make a slip knot and join the stitches just like that. So this is our third round. The fourth start with chain one and a double crochet in the very first stitch. In the second stitch put one double crochet and in the third put two double crochets like that. Now we have to we have to follow this sequence one one two one one two for this entire round. So put one double in the next put one double in the next and two doubles in the next stitch both in the same loop like that. So keep repeating this till the end of this round. Just like that. I have completed my fourth round and I have joined my stitches with a slip stitch. Round 5, chain 1, 1 double crochet in the first stitch just like that, 1 in the next. one in the next three doubles in the first three stitches and two double crochet in the fourth stitch one two so we have to repeat this sequence one two three two 1, 2, 3, 2. Keep repeating this 3, 2, 3, 2 sequence for this entire round. 
वन टू थ्री एंड टू बोथ इन द सेम लूप इन द फोर्थ स्टिच लाइक दैट so keep repeating this until you reach your last stitch i have completed my fifth round and i have uh, joined my stitches with a slip stitch and in the end of this round we have 60 stitches in total now from this round we will not increase our stitches from here 6 7 and 8th round we will work simply in the rounds we will put one double crochet in each of the stitches and join with a slip stitch again next round we will make one double crochet in each of the stitches and join with a slip stitch so for sixth round chain one and put one double crochet in the very first stitch put one double in the next put one in the next put one in the next and all the remaining stitches just put one double crochet in each and every stitches until you reach your last stitch i have completed my sixth round and i have joined my stitches with a slip stitch now we will make four more uh, rows of regular double crochet to start chain 1 put one double crochet in the very first stitch put one in the second stitch like that and put one double crochet in each and every stitches for this round so keep repeating this till you get your last stitch and we have to keep repeating this for three more rows from the beginning we have we will have total nine rounds after completing the ninth round i will show you how to create the brim portion so keep repeating this for the next three rounds so i have completed my four regular double crochet rounds after the fifth row and from now we will work with regular half double crochet stitches but we will work with the third loop you can see there is two loops in which we uh, work our stitches and in the back side of the stitch we have one loop extra this one 
this one right back to your stitch and this one this one we will work in that back loops this is the third loop of the stitch so to start chain 1 and do 1 put 1 regular half double crochet in the very first stitch here like that now work in the third loop right uh, here we have to work our half double crochet so fold like this and work in that stitch insert your hook yarn over and pull up a loop three loops on your hook yarn over pull through these three loops like that and now we have to keep repeating this for the remaining stitches just yarn over insert your hook in the third loop yarn over pull a loop three loops on your hook yarn over pull through these three loops like that so keep repeating this for the remaining stitches put one half double crochet in each of the third loops just like that so keep repeating uh, doing this till the end of the stitches and i will show you how to how to start our next round i have completed my 10th round now i have worked all over the third loop for the entire round and now i will make a slip knot and join my stitches with the first half double crochet i have made like that now we have to keep repeating this round 10 for three more times for this chain one and put one half double crochet in the first stitch like that and from now we have to work in the third loop as we have worked our previous round like that so keep repeating doing one half double crochet in the third loop for the remaining stitches and for the next two rounds and join with slip stitch with the first dub, uh, half double crochet we have made so keep repeating this for uh, the next three rounds this is the second round we have to make uh, two more rounds then after completing the fourth round i will show you how to complete the hat and how to add our little ears with this hat to get the bear look so keep repeating this i will show you how to complete the project after completing the fourth round so i have completed the brim portion of the hat i have done total one two three four and five uh, rounds of half double crochet in the third loop now i have joined my yarn with 
a slip stitch in uh, the first stitch we have made and I have now fastened off my stitches and I have already cut the yarn so this is our baby hat now we have to attach two ears for the cute look of the bear I have already did one ear now I will show you how to make this ear for this we will make a chain 4 1 2 3 and 4 like that now we have to join our stitches with a slip stitch to the first stitch we have made now we have to work in this ring to start chain one and make one double crochet in this ring now we have to make 11 more double crochet in that ring 2 3 4 5 just like that we have to keep repeating this for total 12 times so we have completed our 12 double crochet now we will pull this yarn to tighten the ring to tighten the ring now we don't have to join this uh, stitch to make this a round we have to work for the second round like this chain one and turn our work and put two doubles in that first stitch we have made one and two now in the second stitch we have to put one double then in the third put two doubles in the next put one double then put two doubles just like that we have to keep repeating this for the entire round and in the last stitch we have to put one double crochet one two in the next one two in the next one two in the next and in the last stitch we will put one double crochet and we are we have completed our year now chain one and keep some yarn 
for uh, shaving this ear and cut now like that so we have made our two ears of the bear hat now we have to join this with a tapestry needle with this uh, needle i will show this ear to the hat so place your hat like this and the joining stitches in the middle of the hat and keep this in the back side of the hat and this is the front side there is no joining stitches now we have to join our ears like this so i have joined the first ear now i will join the second one just like that to join make one yarn needle and some same color of yarn now place it to the right place and join the first side of the ear and straightly join it to the opposite side of the ear like that and slightly pull the yarn to give it a sort of bent look now now join the rest of the middle part of the yarn uh, of the ear repeatedly see you couple of times like that just we have to give it a bent look to look like a ear now hide the yarn in the wrong side of the hat see a couple of times here and there and cut your yarn so this is the final look now hide all your extra yarns in the back side of the hat so this is the final look of the hat 
I have hide all the extra yarn tails. I think you like my tutorials. If you find this tutorial helpful and you enjoyed watching my tutorials, so feel free to subscribe my channel. I will really appreciate it. And don't forget to like, share and comment. I really want to know uh, what you think about my tutorials. Please, please, please subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching. Stay home, stay healthy and take care of yourself.